there, it's Sam. I'm here in Kauai, actually. Beautiful ocean behind me. I cut myself shaving a little bit, so pardon the red under my lip. Making this video today about the recent, you know, like earthquakes and uh, volcanoes. And um, here in the here in the U.S., we've had this um, this sort of beating of well, we had a police brutality incident in Baltimore that has brought some, you know, violence and stuff. And talk about this in context with um, recent configuration of Mars becoming combust. Mars combustion began a few days ago. As it sounds, it's combustible. So there feels like a lot of combustible energy right now because of this. Um, you know, Mars is the explosive type of energy and we're having this Sun and Mars in Aries um, and obviously that's a sign of explosiveness and so you may be feeling some of this in your life as well pretty intense stuff after having eclipses you know, after having that eclipse cycle that went through Pisces. Then we have the, these planets in Aries, exalted sun, and then Mars combust. Mercury has been there as well. And Mercury, Mars conjunction has also been pretty, you know, stressful for our communication issues. Because, of course, Mars is about cutting, aggressive type stuff, and Mercury is about language and words, and uh, so sort of cutting harsh, aggressive language is also possible, and you know, this is the nature, you know, this has been the nature of Mercury for a while, because Mercury was first uh, debilitated in Pisces, and then he joins Mars in Aries. Mars and Exalted Sun in Aries. So communication issues have been quite a thing lately as well, given that issue with Mercury being joined either Mars or the Sun. Mercury was also combust for a while. So Mercury combust has to do with communication issues which happened a couple weeks ago, he was combust, and then Mars is uh, combust now, but Mars and Mercury were very closely joined last week, um, and there is some good news as far as Mercury is concerned, and that is that Mercury is going to be changing signs, moving into Taurus this week. So again, Mercury has been either debilitated or in Aries, joined Mars. <laughs> for a couple months. So, you know, tolerance for other people's views and, and um, understanding and discrimination about what we're communicating and things like that could be very difficult. You know, if people have a difficult Mars in their, I'm sorry, difficult Mercury in their natal chart, could really be experiencing some of the problems of, the, of that the last couple months, really. sort of confused communication has been par for the course for the last couple months. Nice to see the waves behind me, isn't it? I know it's a little windy, so if you're going to give me a hard time, just don't bother. I don't want to hear it. See, that's my Mars. That's my Mars Mercury thing. I don't want to hear your complaints. Live with it. I'm holding up my camera. I mean, I'm holding up my phone. That's the camera. So I want to get near the water. I got to. I got to put my foot in the water because I actually cut my foot earlier today too. I've, I cut myself shaving, and I cut my foot. So we'll start to feel some of these, uh, some of these things lightening up this week because Mercury is going to go into uh, Taurus. And they're used to seeing me with sunglasses on in this, in the sun, but. Actually, um, I 
stop wearing sunglasses because I heard it's bad for your eyes, that your eyes can actually be improved by having the full, um, you know, spectrum of light going into them. So I'm going to get my feet in the water here a little bit while I keep talking. So, anyway, I might be a little too close for comfort there. This week, Mercury's going to go into Taurus. Oh, it's cold. So Mercury and Venus will be in Taurus starting this week for a couple weeks, and then Mercury goes into Gemini after that. So at least there's going to be some better communication for the next couple of weeks as Mercury goes into Taurus and Gemini. That will happen on Monday. So if you've been a real pain in the neck with your communication lately, you might feel some ease around that this week. Whoa, it's going to wash my shoes away. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. I know, you're getting distracted and you're saying, I like it better when you're standing in one place rather than walking around. I know, I can hear all the complaining now. <laughs> I know there's wind. I know. So, communication will be better this week. Hopefully. Time for you to you know, maybe have to be a little humble and admit that you weren't communicating with a lot of intelligence and a lot of discrimination the last couple months. That you weren't really at your best. Or maybe you can't. Maybe, maybe you have been at your best and other people haven't or, I don't know, whatever it is. You have to realize that Mercury and Taurus is going to bring a much more grounded feeling to your words and you're, you'll be really having to live the value of what you've been communicating. Taurus is really about values and tangible results and wanting to have connection. And so we may really notice where we've broke some connection based on our harsh words and harsh communication style the last few weeks, or the last couple months rather. And we're going to want that structure because Mercury will be in Taurus. It's not going to be with Mars anymore. Mercury's going to be with Venus. So again, you want to look at things, you know, when these astrological changes happen and when we deal with these astrological trends, you want to notice big, big things that change. And this is a big thing that's changing, because Mercury has been difficult the last couple months, and starting this week, he's going to be improved, which is nice. Mercury is one of the most important planets in living a productive life, a life where we, you know, where we're able to manifest what we want, and also, obviously, as it, as it pertains to relationships, especially with others, you know, romantic relationships or just business friendships or whatever. Mercury is so important because he's the words we use, the communication, the ability to adjust and adapt to what other people are saying. Very important. Mercury is a rajasic planet, just like Venus. And those qualities of rajas are what really governs our interactions with each other, with other adults. So these are important, very important things very important themes this week. Set very sad about the earthquake in Tibet, the, the volcano in Chile, and other like, you know, potent explosive situations around the world. There seems like quite a bit of it. So anyway, I hope you have a good week. I'm going to be in swimming in that little alcove right there in about about a half an hour. I'm gonna snorkel in there. It's really nice. It's beautiful. Kauai. So, aloha and mahalo.